another day, another briefing packed with some pretty big announcements, including one on unemployment fraud in Arkansas. Our Jay Burr took his place at the governor's round table this afternoon, as usual. He joins us now with more on it. Hi, Jay. Hey, good evening, Donna. Yeah, officials now for a few weeks have been saying that they have started to see upticks in fraud in both the pandemic unemployment assistance and unemployment systems uh, here in the state of Arkansas. Now, today, the Department of Commerce actually mentioned that there's about 27,000 cases that have been frozen in the PUA system and approximately 10,000 in the traditional employment system that have been frozen. Officials say that the fraudsters will use someone's identity to file claims, and Governor Asa Hutchinson himself Self said his identity was used to try to obtain those benefits. He even got a letter in the mail. Now, Arkansas, not immune to the issues here, as many states across the country are combating this exact same issue, and they believe that those trying to fraud the system are just hoping that their, fra uh, their fraudulent claims slip through the cracks. Information is, is uh, fraudulently obtained and stored, and then at the uh, opportune time like this one, uh, those bad actors will then use this information to file claims and hopefully that they can game the system because we do have so many claims coming in. Secretary Preston says it is easier to catch these types of claims in the unemployment system rather than the PUA system because letters also go to employers. So there's that extra layer of verification in the traditional unemployment system. But he does say the department is sending letters to those beneficiaries of the PUA and that state that the state will now be setting up verification stations across Arkansas in order for them to take letters that they will be sending out to those beneficiaries. They'll have to physically bring that letter and other forms of identification in order for them and other departments that are being recruited by the Department of Commerce to help verify all of that information for those accounts. Then they can unlock or unfreeze those accounts and have that money start flowing to those beneficiaries once again. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News. All right.